Good evening, everybody. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. Uh, my name is Aaron Spina, and I am the Associate Director of Admissions with Harrisburg University of Science and Technology. And we really appreciate you being able to take the time to join us tonight uh, to join our virtual open house. Uh, many of you who are on here may know that we had originally planned to do this in person. Uh, but unfortunately, um, you know, with everything going on, felt it might be a little bit of a better option to do this virtually for the time being. Uh, especially with our classes for the spring semester, starting virtually for the first month. But it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, we think you're going to be in for a great evening uh, of information with us, you know, learning about uh, admissions with Harrisburg University, general information, what's going to be offered. And then also after our first session here, being able to go and listen to both financial aid uh, and student services, student life, and also from some of our student ambassadors here at the university as well. I uh, just want to make a few things aware um, that as you're going through, uh, and if you need to get, navigate pages here, when you get into the top left section of your page, that'll take you back to the home screen when you click the home button, which will allow you to navigate into different sections. And once you're on that home screen, you're also able to scroll down. You are more than welcome to go and check out any previous sessions that we have posted as well. Uh, we have academic sessions posted for our programs. Uh, we have pre previous housing and residence life information. So a lot of great information for you all to be able to check out uh, in regards to Harrisburg University. There's also information on there where um, if anybody is interested tonight, uh, if you are a senior, and you say, hey, you know what? I haven't applied to Harrisburg University and this is something I wanna do. We actually have an apply button listed right there on the page and also to a button to click where you can go ahead and register for campus visits. While our students are starting the semester virtually, we are still doing in-person campus visits for anybody who wants to come down and check out and see what HU is all about. Uh, also with me uh, this evening, I have Michael McGurl. He is actually our uh, admissions counselor for Northern New Jersey and also New York. Uh, he's going to be sharing some information here with you this evening. And also, too, just want to make aware, make sure to use uh, the chat portion and post questions. Uh, we're going to have some time built in, uh, about 10 or 15 minutes, to be able to go ahead and answer questions for you all as well. But without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Mr. McGurl here uh, to share some information. So, Mike, go ahead and take it away. Thank you very much, Aaron, and welcome everyone uh, to our virtual open house tonight. Uh, as Aaron said, we're really glad you could join us here virtually. Uh, and just another note, just to touch on what Aaron said, uh, we are offering tours throughout the semester. So if anything we talk about this evening sounds interesting to you and you want to come see campus, certainly please come down. Uh, it always helps to come see a lot of what we're talking about tonight in person as well. So we are here to offer those opportunities to you. Uh, I'm also gonna be speaking uh, kind of broadly about some of our academic programs. Uh, and again, just touch on what Aaron said, uh, some of our academic presentations you'll have access to um, through your home there tonight in the PQ cast. Uh, always worth checking out for a little more in depth uh, if anything we talk about this evening sounds interesting to you. So welcome everyone. Again, my name is Michael McGurl and I'm the admissions counselor for Northern New Jersey and uh, New York. So what is Harrisburg University? Well, we're a private four-year STEM institution. Uh, we're actually only 16 years old, but we're growing. Uh, one of the really cool things about Harrisburg, about 16 years ago, there's a partnership between the city of Harrisburg and the university uh, to try and offer an affordable, top quality STEM education. 16 years later, we think we're really succeeding in that mission. Uh, we're growing every year, whether it be through our accreditations or expanding of our campus. We're actually building uh, a brand new, uh, high-rise uh, campus building in downtown Harrisburg, about a block away from our current main building on the campus where you can see the picture here this evening. Uh, so we really are growing all the time. Uh, we also have two main locations in Harrisburg uh, is where our main location is. And we also have a commuter campus in Philadelphia. In addition to that, kind of highlighting some of our growth, uh, we'll be opening a campus in the United Arab Emirates. And we actually just opened a campus in Panama as well. So we've only been around for 16 years, but during that time, HU really has grown every year. And it's something we're really proud of and we think is part of the, the lifeblood that makes Harrisburg tick. And then tuition freeze for nine years. Uh, we like to highlight that because I mentioned how Harrisburg really is in a place to get an affordable education with STEM focus. Uh, and over those nine years, our tuition has stayed the same. Uh, we know how 
Higher education costs have risen across the country, and a lot of different institutions have had to rise their tuition to meet those rising costs. But Harrisburg has stayed the same. Uh, we really do pride ourselves on that. A lot of what we talk about tonight is going to be about our academics. We're going to be talking about scholarships uh, and ways that we try to make Harrisburg as affordable uh, for you to get a great STEM education. So just want to share some of our accolades uh, that Harrisburg is known for. Uh, one that I'm you know, personally proud of as an employee at HU and working in admissions. Uh, we're actually ranked number one best private uh, college for awarding scholarship aid in the United States. Uh, I'll talk about our scholarships later, uh, but they range anywhere from $11,000 to $16,000. Uh, just for being accepted into Harrisburg University. And that money is going to go directly towards paying for your tuition. So we really pride ourselves on being able to be an affordable, top quality STEM university. Uh, ranked number nine for best college for forensic science in the nation, which is really fantastic. We'll talk about our forensic science program, forensics investigation uh, we offer here as well. We actually just opened a brand new forensic science lab, which is really cool. If you ever get an opportunity to get down to campus to see that. Rank number three uh, for gaming majors for scholarships. Uh, and we are the 2019 2020 Collegiate Esports Champions. Something that makes Harrisburg really unique is our focus on esports. We not only offer an esports management degree program, uh, but our team, the HU Storm, are the 2019 2020 Collegiate Overwatch Champions. So we really pride ourselves uh, as being a STEM institution that really puts what we talk into practice. And you see that with the HU Storm uh, and our involvement in esports across the nation. And then lastly, number five for ethnic diversity among PA colleges. Uh, the students at Harrisburg really do represent the nation we live in. Uh, students from all walks of life, different socioeconomic backgrounds, religious beliefs, et cetera. Uh, we really do pride ourselves on being a very diverse campus. So if you're here this evening, you're probably interested in finding out what do we offer as a STEM institution. Well, we have 12 different majors with a number of different concentrations within some of those majors. I'm going to talk broadly about some of these this evening, uh, but if you are looking for more information, as always, on our website, uh, and there's also presentations that have been done in the past with some of our academic faculty, if you want a deeper dive into what we offer here. Geospatial technology is one of our programs. And geospatial technology, if you're not aware, is really just the study of spatial science and data. So things that you would use for, let's say, Google Earth, uh, cell phones, uh, federal government, state, local governments use geospatial technology a lot. Uh, if you're familiar with the terms of geographic information systems, uh, really just the collection of geographic data um, and the science and study of that. We have a really state-of-the-art GIS uh, lab here on campus. Again, if you get an opportunity to come down and take a look, really encourage you uh, to take a look at the GIS lab if you are interested in geospatial technologies. Our computer and computer information sciences major, uh, what's really unique about this program is that we offer a five-year uh, bachelor's to master's. And what that means is uh, during your junior year, you can apply to get your master's degree uh, in five years. Right, so in a lot of times you would need to go to a school, get your bachelor's, and apply to go to graduate school for an additional two years. Here at HU, you can apply to get your master's in one year. Uh, and what's really neat about that as well, and we'll talk about this with our scholarships, uh, but your scholarship that you get as an undergraduate student for this specific four or five year BS to MS applies to your MS as well. And computer information and sciences, what that is, if you're not familiar, we focus on the software side of things, uh, you know, algorithms, uh, software computing, uh, building data sets, stuff like that. Uh, our information systems and information technology program focuses more on the IT side of things. So networking, cybersecurity, uh, things of that nature as it relates to IT. Uh, and of course, IT is really in demand these days. Uh, with the move to so many things being online, like us being here this evening, uh, IT really is an important part of that. Uh, students who are in our ISIT program uh, go on to work for state, federal, local governments, uh, things like Cisco, uh, high-tech IT companies. Those are the kind of opportunities you're going to have in our ISIT program. Advanced manufacturing. Uh, I think advanced manufacturing is really neat. I had a chance to see the lab recently when I was on campus. Uh, focuses a lot on robotics, 3D printing, artificial intelligence. Also, there's a lot of different aspects of engineering with it. Uh, we've had faculty who have worked for NASA, 
So you're going to be getting things like aeronautical engineering, civil and structural engineering as part of advanced manufacturing. So if those kind of things really interest you, advanced manufacturing could be a really great uh, major for you to pursue here at HU. Moving on, we have our management, entrepreneurship, and business administration uh, program, MEBA for short. Uh, and within that, you can study things like business analytics, digital marketing, and entrepreneurship. I think something that makes Harrisburg really unique as it relates to our MEBA program, excuse me, is that during your time here at Harrisburg, it'll be very hands-on. By the time you graduate, you're going to be focused and coming out with a full business plan ready to go, having done things like studying uh, con consumer behavior, consumer spending habits, uh, what's going to be your, your return on investment on your business plan, how are you going to present that to potential investors. Uh, one thing you'll see, and as a theme here tonight throughout a lot of our programs, is that Harrisburg majors really are hands-on and focused. I'll talk about this a little later, but every major here on campus is going to do a internship, 120-hour uh, mandatory internship, in addition to research projects. So research projects and internships here aren't just relegated to some of the harder sciences, like I'll talk about with biotechnology, but our esports program, management, you're all going to be doing on the ground, in corporation, in industry, research and internships. They're going to give you a leg up when you walk out of here at the end of your four years. Our biotechnology majors, uh, biotechnology is really just the study and the manipulation of living things. So some of our concentrations within biotechnology include medical biotechnology, food safety and quality assurance, uh, our location to Hershey. Uh, we've had students who have gone on to work for the Hershey Corporation, internship with the Hershey Corporation, doing food safety and quality assurance. So if you like chocolate, you certainly can't beat that opportunity. Uh, nanobiotechnology and nanofabrication. This could be the designing and creation of, let's say, artificial limbs. Uh, and then, of course, pharmaceutical design, uh, designing state-of-the-art, uh, manufactured drugs and medicines. Uh, if any of these things kind of reach out to you, biotechnology is certainly a great opportunity uh, to study at Harrisburg. And moving on, we have applied math. Uh, if you're like me and you have trouble counting the 10, I have to run out of your hands. Applied math, probably not the best major. But if you're someone who really loves math, uh, our applied math really takes uh, advanced mathematics very seriously, the research, understanding of data sets, uh, analyzing statistics, and really puts that into practice. Uh, even as someone who has struggled with math, the more I've learned about our applied math program, the more fascinating I find it. I may not fully understand all of it, uh, but it is a really, really cool major for students who are interested in math and taking those advanced mathematics courses and applying them to everyday solutions. Environmental science and sustainability. If you're a student who's always had a passion for the environment, sustainability, uh, solar energy, green energy, our environmental science project is really great. Students in this major have gone on to do things like volcanology, studying volcanoes, geology, uh, our location in the Susquehanna Valley, if you're not familiar, the Susquehanna River runs right past Harrisburg, gives students a lot of outdoor, outdoor opportunities uh, to be in nature, to be studying the environment. And our integrative sciences, uh, these are really some of the studies of our hard sciences, your biologies, uh, biochemistry, and chemistry, forensics investigation. Uh, students in these programs can also tailor some of these to set them up for, let's say you're interested in medical school, pharmacy school, vet school, uh, students in our integrative sciences can set up these programs to really help set them uh, up for medical school and prepare them for that next step after HU. Uh, and our forensic investigation is also housed under our integrative sciences. And what that is, is if you're not familiar, have you ever seen uh, crime scene investigation shows? Uh, forensics investigation is a, is a concentration under integrative sciences where you're going to be studying, uh, showing up to a crime scene, collecting evidence, interrogation, stuff like that. Um, so that's under our forensics investigation, which is a bit different from forensic science, as I learned myself working here at HU. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Then we have our interactive media program. Interactive media, also known as IMED, uh, concentrations in interaction and experience design. That'd be things like working on mobile app design, uh, the user interface that you use on different games, mobile apps, uh, different applications. You're going to see things like that in experience design. Purposeful game design is the designing of games for a purpose. Uh, we also have video game design as well, where students have gone on to work for companies like Bethesda and ZeniMax with Elder Scrolls Online, 
Ubisoft Electronic Arts. In terms of purposeful game design, we've had students who have gone on to work on design things like Microsoft Flight Simulator for the federal government. So these are the really kind of unique and interesting opportunities we offer at Harrisburg. And then, of course, advanced media production. Advanced media production is going to focus on things like content creation for things like YouTube, Twitch, uh, learning how to film different things. We've had students uh, recently, actually, in advanced media production for under IMED, uh, just recently wrapped up work on The Mandalorian. So our students really do get a taste of everything within our IMED program. And then esports management, performance, and production. Uh, this is a major that I find really fascinating. Esports, billion dollar industry. If you're familiar with the news recently, Microsoft just buying out uh, Activision for $70 billion. Activision owning things like Overwatch and Call of Duty. Uh, esports, integral in all of that. Uh, and what this major is, is really the study of the uh, industry itself, right? You're going to learn how to put on events, right? Work with content creation on Twitch, YouTube gaming, how do streamers work, running an event, shout casting, coaching teams. So it's really the behind the scenes of esports, which is really fascinating. And then lastly, forensic science. Forensic science is kind of what it sounds like. It's the science behind the forensics. So uh, while some of our forensics investigation majors are going to be on the crime scene collecting that evidence, it's our forensic scientists in the lab who are going to be studying that evidence, uh, the hard science part of that, the biochemistry, uh, studying the DNA of those objects. Uh, that's what you're going to get in our forensic science program. Now, like I said, uh, these are our 12 majors and some of our concentrations within them. Uh, please note that I give a very broad overview of some of these. If you are interested in more information, please check out our website, check out some of the presentations that some of our faculty have done. Uh, you can also reach out to your admissions counselor uh, as well, and we'd be happy to share more information on these programs. And then student life at HU. So we know that coming to college, education is just one part, one pillar of that opportunity that you're getting coming to Harrisburg. Uh, and our student life is just as vibrant as our academic life at Harrisburg. Uh, we really are an urban feel with a small city experience. And what we mean by that is, and if you get an opportunity to come down to Harrisburg and see, we are located right downtown, right by the Capitol. Feels very much like you're in a larger urban environment. But you walk a few blocks, say three or four blocks, and now you're down by the Susquehanna River. We have an area called uh, City Island, which houses the Harrisburg Senators, which is a minor league baseball team. There's beaches, volleyball courts, river walks. Uh, so within just a few blocks, you can have that urban feel and then also get more of that suburban and rural feel. Harrisburg located in south central Pennsylvania. Uh, you're going to be located within, you know, a few minutes drives to Hershey, Hershey Park, uh, Lancaster, Gettysburg. So we really are right within uh, a lot of different opportunities for you as a student at HU. Also walking distance of things like restaurants, Restaurant Row, tons of different restaurants up and down uh, the road here in Harrisburg, a uh, lot of different places to eat, theater, history, government is the capital of Pennsylvania. Uh, if you're interested in government and history, you can't go any, you really can't get any better than Harrisburg. Uh, we're really right in the heart of it. We talked about three hours of opportunity. So Harrisburg, we're three hours within New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, you really are right in the heart of it. Uh, a lot of our student life will run bus trips to these areas. Uh, there's a train a block away from campus that'll take you right into Philadelphia. So Harrisburg, again, it really does give you that urban feel with a small city experience that really can't be beat. And then apartment style housing is located right across the street. I'm going to talk about our apartments here in a second. Uh, but I think one thing that makes Harrisburg unique, uh, and here's some of our pictures of our apartment style housing. A lot of different institutions are going to offer you uh, your more of a traditional, let's say, dorm residence hall style. You're going to be living with a roommate, sharing a bathroom with 30, 40 other students, long corridor style halls. Uh, previous to working at admissions, I worked in residence life for around 10 years. Uh, and while it's certainly a unique experience uh, living in something like that, uh, the apartments we offer here at Harrisburg really are second to none. They're going to give you that level of independence, full kitchens. Uh, you'll have an apartment with two to four apartment mates, uh, so you get that social, inter social interaction, learning how to live with others while also being independent, uh, which is something we think we're really proud of here at Harrisburg is our housing options. Again, these are just some of the pictures of what our apartments look like. I'd encourage you if you're here on a tour, 
uh, or let's say you apply and become an accepted student, come down one of our accepted student days in March or April uh, and really get a chance to dive in, take a look at what our housing looks like. We think it's really unique. Uh, one thing I will add uh, is that we don't offer meal plans here at Harrisburg University. Uh, so each apartment does have its full kitchen. Uh, and if you're not someone who cooks like I was when I went to college, uh, Harrisburg actually has a lot of opportunities to learn that. Our student life team who will be presenting later this evening uh, does a lot of different programmatic opportunities to teach you how to cook, learn different ways to cook. Excuse me. Uh, and we're also located, Harrisburg University is attached to a place called Strawberry Square. I mentioned, mentioned Restaurant Row. Uh, about a block away from campus. Strawberry Square uh, is kind of like a mini mall that's associated, attached right to the side of our campus here. Uh, a lot of different food court, food opportunities. Uh, so we don't offer a meal plan directly. Ton of different eating opportunities at Harrisburg University. In addition to learning how to cook yourself, I mentioned that level of independence that we're going to give you in our housing, and that's just one aspect of that. And then esports at HU. I talked about how our team, the Harrisburg Storm, who we're incredibly proud of, are the two-time defending Overwatch National Champions. Uh, you know, as a STEM institution, uh, our team, the Storm, really are just as great as you'll see at maybe a Division One institution for football, basketball, and other esports. Uh, but our team really is the best. The Storm is fantastic. If you're interested in esports, uh, you know, it's fantastic to watch uh, this team play. They're phenomenal when it comes to Overwatch and League of Legends, which are the two teams, excuse me, the two games that they play. Uh, students have asked sometimes, uh, do you play Call of Duty? Uh, do you do Valorant? Uh, at the moment, we do not. Right now, the two games that the Storm play competitively are League of Legends and Overwatch. Just list some of the associations that we're a part of. Uh, and again, we're the number one rated esports program in the country. Uh, if you're a student who is really interested in esports, uh, there are opportunities if you wanted to try out. Uh, just know that they play at a very high, very competitive level. Uh, I myself like to play video games, wouldn't hold a candle to any of the players on the storm. Uh, but the great thing about HU is uh, you can still be involved with the team. Uh, you can get involved in the production of the team in our esports management program. We have an esports club that does play some of those other games like Rocket League, Valorant, Call of Duty, et cetera. So, you know, it really is part of the lifeblood at Harrisburg University, and we are incredibly proud of what our esports teams offer and really think it's kind of state of the art. You see a lot of schools these days are starting esports programs, uh, but Harrisburg has been at the cutting edge of that for a long time, and it shows not only in the quality of our esports management program, but I think in the esports team we have the storm. Scholarships, something I think many of you will be interested in hearing about this evening. Uh, we know paying for college can be difficult. Uh, Harrisburg University's tuition, we're $23,900, uh, and that doesn't include housing. That's just our base tuition. Uh, housing is going to run anywhere from, say, around five to $7,000 additional to your tuition. Uh, but one way we make that affordable is through our scholarships. Uh, any student who is admitted to Harrisburg University upon your admission, uh, you're going to be getting a scholarship ranging from $11,000 to $16,000 based on your, high, your final high school GPA. So if you're a student who's coming in at 30, uh, with a 3.8 GPA or higher, you're gonna be receiving $16,000 already towards your scholarship, that scholarship going towards your, your HU tuition uh, just for being accepted into Harrisburg. What's also great about that is that applies for all four years you are here as a student. So when you come in, you have a 3.8 GPA, receive our HU Elite Scholarship, that's gonna apply to all four years you're here at Harrisburg University. Uh, if you're interested in more scholarship information, we can always answer questions in the chat, uh, but just know that it's a fantastic opportunity for us to try and make college as affordable as possible to you. Uh, last thing I'll mention about scholarships, um, you know, we know that paying for college can also be confusing when you're filling out things like the FAFSA, financial aid, loans, grants, different scholarships, what are they for? Just know that the HU scholarship that you'll receive, whether it be the hope, the promise, the distinction, select, or the elite, uh, is money you don't have to pay back. So that's not a loan, that is a scholarship that is applied to your tuition that you don't need to pay back. So then why choose HU? Kind of rounding it out here, I mentioned internships and projects. Uh, again, all 12 of our different majors, you're going to be doing a 120-hour internship uh, at a lot of different institutions. Those are optional. A lot of your stuff is just going to be you sitting in a classroom. But at Harrisburg, we get you into industry, into the different corporations that you'll be working with. We have faculty who work 
in industry who work as part of these different corporations. Uh, and they get you the experience you need to get a job right out of college. You know, you'll see here 91% of our students receive jobs or attend graduate school after graduation. You know, that number is so high because we do have all of our students take mandatory internships and do research projects. So again, whether you are in a hard science like chemistry or you're in our esports program or you're in our forensic science program, you're going to be doing a research project that when you walk into your first job interview, you're going to have that portfolio and you can say, well, here's the research I did. Uh, on the industry that we're working in currently. Here's the 120 hours I did for this company or this corporation that I can apply directly to this job that I'm applying to right out of college. So an HU degree isn't just going to give you time sitting in a classroom or sitting in a lab. It's going to give you plenty of time and research and internship hours out in the field that are going to help you the day you walk across that stage. Small class sizes. Uh, HU, something we pride ourselves on, is our size. Not only are we an incredibly affordable STEM education, but class sizes, we cap around 25 students. And then in your major courses, you're really looking at only around, say, five to 10 students. So you really get to know your faculty one on one. They're incredible resources. Uh, you get to know the fellow students and your cohort. So small class sizes is something really unique, I think, special about Harrisburg University. And then lastly, financially affordable. You know, I mentioned our different scholarships, you know, at a tuition of 23 1,900. Many of our scholarships, almost half your tuition is paid for uh, just on your scholarship alone. And that's before federal financial aid grants and things like that. So we really do pride ourselves on our ability to be an affordable institution uh, that you can get experience at, at a great price. So if anything I said this evening sounded interesting to you, uh, you can apply tonight. Go to harrisburgu.edu and apply. No application fee. So unlike some schools, we're not going to charge you to apply to our institution. Uh, you do need a 2.7 uh, cumulative GPA for admission, and we do not require the SAT or the ACT. Uh, talk about Harrisburg kind of being on the cutting edge of things. A lot of schools recently have stopped requiring the SAT and ACT, and we have never required those. So don't require your SAT or ACT, 2.7 for admission. Uh, and then we'll need your high school counselor to send us your transcripts. Uh, and you can send those to transcripts at harrisburgu.edu. And then we're going to get you an admissions decision in as little as three days. So we pride ourselves on that quick turnaround. If anything I said tonight seemed interesting to you, if you go into our student life thing and say, Harrisburg really sounds like a great opportunity for me, apply. There's really no harm. There's no, app there's no application fee, and we'll get you a decision in three days. And then lastly, you can also apply through the Common App. So you can either apply directly on our website or head to the Common App. Uh, we'd love to see your application in there. Love to get you a decision and make Harrisburg your opportunity for your post-secondary education. And then lastly, here's some contact information. Uh, this is for our undergraduate admissions office. Uh, so that's our main phone number, and that's also the email address. Uh, our counselors in this office, uh, the team that we make up, we kind of have different regions that we oversee. Again, I oversee Northern New Jersey and New York. Uh, Aaron does a lot of uh, South Central Pennsylvania. Um, but if you do have a specific question, we'll get you in contact with your specific counselor for your region. That's enough of me talking. Uh, I imagine you guys have been asking some questions here in the chat um, that we're going to hopefully answer for you all uh, as we're talking here and going through some of these questions. Um, certainly reach out, continue putting those questions in. Aaron and I will do our best to answer those as we go through. Thank you very much, Mike. A um, lot of great information. Uh, I'm sure you all took a lot from that uh, as you were listening to Mr. McGurl go through and you know, just talk to you a little more about what HU is all about. Uh, so we do have uh, some questions that have come in from the audience. Uh, I'm going to start with Tristan here. Uh, Tristan, glad you're in attendance. Uh, so hi, who do we talk to about the requirements for the esports team? And will the acceptance happen before or after we decide to start our degree? So I will actually start with that because I generally work as the admissions counselor with all of our esports recruits here at the university. Um, the minimum requirement you're going to be looking at is going to be at least having a diamond ranking. So if you can achieve a minimum diamond, ra diamond ranking with League of Legends or Overwatch, uh, that'll be a good starter or an indicator for you. Outside of that, with making connections, um, you know, of course, just reach out to me if you want to talk to a coach or, you know, maybe if we can have you chat with a player uh, or two, we can always do that in terms of recommendations. Uh, but the one thing that the coaches recommend is, 
follow the storm. So Harrisburg University Storm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you can check them out. Uh, you know, keep tabs on the matches and what's going on. Uh, but also more importantly, if you have information um, that you want to provide, such as, you know, rankings, um, Tristan, for you, if you've done anything with esports through Chamber Spec Magnet, for example, uh, would be more than happy to pass along any of that information. So if you want more on that or anybody in the audience who is interested more about uh, esports recruitment, kind of how that works, feel free to reach out to me um, or just send an email to undergraduateadmissions at harrisburgu.edu. So our second question is coming in from Blessing, and Blessing was asking, what are the programs tailored towards data science, statistics, and forensic science besides applied math and forensics? Uh, Mike, do you want to take that one? Sorry, and could you, could you say that one more time? Sorry, yeah. Just, it cut off there at the end. What are the programs tailored towards data science, statistics, and forensic science besides applied mathematics and forensics. So with those ones, are there any other programs that are actually a little bit geared towards or have uh, some of the same curriculum outside of applied math or forensics? Yeah, our, our integrative science program is going to give you a lot of opportunities. Um, you know, they mentioned the forensic science piece. Uh, and as I talked during my presentation, forensics investigation uh, is going to have little bits of those components in it, uh, as that studies more of the study of the direct crime scene. Uh, but things like your biology programs, your chemistry, uh, surprisingly, even things like advanced manufacturing, uh, a lot of mathematics involved with that, especially as it relates to, let's say, robotics. Uh, advanced artificial intelligence. Uh, and then, of course, data is so hugely important, uh, especially as it relates to like computer science. You know, I talked about how the students are working with computer algorithms and computer software. A lot of mathematics and data study statistics involved with those as well. Another one I'll throw in there as well uh, that's really good for data sciences or even going into statistics is the Amoeba program. So Management, Entrepreneurship and Business Administration, uh, just because there is a data analytics concentration that goes along with that. So that's a good track to take. Um, also, too, little known fact, um, working in forensic science, a lot of uh, forensics labs are looking for students with chemistry backgrounds. So students who go to school for biochem or chemistry uh, can also get jobs working in forensic science labs as well. So a uh, little known fact to be able to provide for you there as well, blessing. So uh, next, uh, this comes from Kayla Dorsey. Uh, so Mike, also with housing, is there a way to pick your roommates? Uh, yes, you can pick your roommate if you know who your roommate is. Uh, if you're an accepted student currently, uh, usually it's around April time uh, that the housing application goes out. But if you know who you want to live with, we can certainly make that happen. Uh, our student life team will be talking later this evening as well, answering a lot more kind of your specific student life questions. Um, but, you know, I did mention our apartments range from two to four apartment mates. Um, but if you do know one of your apartment mates, we can certainly make that happen for you. And the next question coming in from Jamie Nelson, uh, are there any athletic sports in addition to esports at Harrisburg University? So currently, uh, esports is our only competitive uh, esports team that we, excuse me, our competitive team that we have. But we do have recreational sports. Uh, we have different leagues, especially through the YMCA, which as a student at Harrisburg University, uh, you have access to our local YMCA um, so a lot of different opportunities to get involved in athletics, uh, not on the competitive level that you'd see the storm play at. Uh, I mentioned our esports team as well, uh, or excuse me, our esports club. Um, we have different clubs and organizations uh, that are going to kind of get you that involvement in things that you're looking for. So it could be football, basketball, uh, esports, things like that. Um, you know, again, I mentioned esports. Uh, the storm is our only competitive team, but plenty of opportunities to get involved in our different clubs and organizations. So we do have the athletic club as well. It's called the Wolfpack. Um, they are more of our intramural sports here at the university. Um, whenever we are back in session, hopefully at the beginning of February, uh, they actually do a rec basketball league. So you can get involved through Harrisburg Young Professionals and you can do a basketball league. Uh, we've had students do indoor and outdoor soccer. Uh, there's a volleyball league that you can participate in. Even to some of my favorites getting involved through Harrisburg Young Professionals, you can join a dodgeball or a kickball league. So, you know, taking me back to elementary, middle school and high school, having fun in gym class, playing uh, dodgeball and kickball. Uh, so those are things you can even get involved in as an adult. Uh, so all done through intramurals or with Harrisburg Young Professionals uh, here in the region. And uh, Lori was asking, if my SAT scores are good, should I send them? And also, will they help me? 
Mm-hmm. Uh, it certainly can't hurt to send them. Um, you know, and a lot of times if you're a student who is maybe, say, on the cusp, um, you know, we do offer 2.7, that SAT may help kind of help us with our admissions decision. Uh, if you're above that 2.7, it never hurts to submit your SATs. If you've taken them, you know, you may as well uh, submit them with your application. Uh, that can certainly never hurt for us while we're making our acceptance decisions. And next, another question coming in from Jamie here. Um, how many students are currently enrolled in the ECU University? Uh, so I can actually take that one. We have right around uh, on campus uh, 700 traditional undergraduate students here at the university. So we are very small in terms of population. Uh, at the graduate and PhD level, we do have close to 6,000 students who are studying uh, higher level degree programs through HU. They are only here uh, one Saturday a month. Now, with our graduate and PhD programs, they are fully online. Uh, they have not reported back to any in-person uh, courses just yet. So um, as you can see, very small at the undergraduate level, but growing uh, very large at the graduate and the PhD level from that standpoint. And also, too, um, from a undergraduate perspective, uh, this year alone, we have close to 1,200 high school students actually taking college courses and college credits through dual enrollment in our college and the high school program with Harrisburg University as well. And then uh, the next question coming in, um, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, but uh, Hadia, uh, can you provide more information about forensic science? So is there any other details or information, Mike, that you feel that we could add in regards to the forensic science program? I think the only thing I would add is our forensic science program does focus more on the hard science side of the forensics. Um, so that really is, uh, if you have a, a passion for biology, a uh, passion for chemistry, um, Forensic science could be a really great opportunity for you. Uh, when I was up in our forensic science lab, I was actually blown away at how scientific it all really was. Um, you know, whether that be the dissection of different animals. Uh, I believe it was Aaron who, you know, you told me the one anecdote about uh, it's often the bugs that get to the crime scenes first. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to see them, but I've heard there's flesh eating beetles <laughs> that they've <laughs> shown in our forensic science labs. Um, so it really is kind of more of the hard science look at the study of forensics. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, I would definitely encourage you uh, to maybe check out some more information uh, with our forensic professors on the website. Yeah, and what Mike was alluding to there is uh, we study a lot of entomology here on campus. So the study of bugs and how they're really uh, integral in terms of, you know, crime scene investigation, determining cause of death, uh, helping with uh, the potential of not doing evidence tampering with working from bodies, for example. So there's a lot of unique aspects to the forensics program. Um, and also to Jamie posed in here as well. Uh, can you, can someone major in forensic science and investigation simultaneously? Um, you can certainly look into it. Uh, that would be more of either looking into, do I want to major and minor or do I want a dual major? Um, now dual major, of course, we're very, um, cognizant of advising students on dual majoring in college, just because, you know, you're, ca you're carrying a heavier course load. Um, it may cause you to go to school longer. Uh, so from that standpoint, getting two degrees at the same time will have you be in school at a longer amount of time. So we would have you work with an academic advisor to kind of pick and choose the proper courses if you want to multitask the two. Also, too, I would highly recommend going to our student services uh, panel after this, posing that question about going into either dual major or majoring and minoring. So our next question coming in uh, is from Jordan, and this is, are there any study abroad opportunities? Uh, we do offer study abroad. Um, Aaron, I'm not sure if you want to talk a little bit more about what we have to offer as it relates to study abroad. So it, it's not particular, like you're not, you're not going to go spend a semester over in Ireland, for example, studying another college and living over there. Ours is more geared towards project-based work here at the university. So for example, uh, GIS, they will go over to Iceland for a couple weeks to a month and they'll do work over there with drones, um, cartography, digital imaging, things like that. Um, some of the science programs will go down to the Cayman Islands. Uh, we have a project there with environmental sciences and also GIS where they are helping uh, in terms of locating the blue iguanas around the island um, from thermal imaging on the drones just because the blue iguana is almost on the endangered species list. So we are really working with them to try to relocate them to a more safer environment uh, and deforestation is really killing them off as well. So when it comes to travel in, re in regards to your program, 
it's not necessarily going to be study abroad. It's more, you know, maybe up to a month, you may go do some project work uh, with the programs and the faculty here at Harrisburg University. And uh, Mike, this comes from Abdul. Uh, a question on the merit scholarships. Can you be eligible for merit scholarships after your freshman year? Yeah, that's a great question, Abdul. Uh, your scholarship applies to all four years. Uh, and it stays the same throughout. So it's based off your high school GPA. You know, some students have asked, let's say, during my freshman year, I came in at a 3.8, so I received the elite scholarship at 16,000. Um, you know, and my freshman GPA was a 3.0. Uh, that actually does not impact your scholarship money that you receive. So again, that's based off your high school GPA, not your college GPA. So if you come in um, at the 3.8 level, that's gonna carry out all four years at Harrisburg University. And Adam was asking, this is going to be more of a housing related question, um, but Adam, I'd recommend going to the student life session and asking this in the housing portion, uh, but just wanted to bring it up in case anybody else is interested and they would want to learn more about this in that session as well. But are there contingencies if you and your roommate have a dispute or if there's an issue created by living together? So essentially, yes, there's protocol, there's procedures, there is contingency of place. Um, well, again, I would recommend posing this question in the student life session, uh, just because we will have somebody from the housing team over there to be able to answer that for you directly. And uh, this comes in from Joel. So Mike, is there a two-year program for computer and information sciences? I believe we only have the four-year option, Aaron, unless I'm incorrect on that. Correct. All of our majors here are going to be four-year bachelor's degrees. Uh, we do not go anything shorter. Um, unless students want to look through uh, what is called our new pass program. Uh, new pass will give students the opportunity to actually get certifications. So through new pass, um, if a student is interested in getting IT certifications, there are actually four IT certifications uh, that you can really go through and do. Um, so, but outside of that, everything is gonna be a minimum of a four year bachelor degree. And um, what is the graduation rate? So uh, Ella, I'll go ahead and take that question here. So our graduation rate right now on a four-year basis, sits roughly just a hair under 35%. And if you look at it from a six-year rate, I believe we're hovering around like 40, 41%. Um, with our graduation rate, we are a newer university still. So we've only been around going on 17 years. Um, we really didn't have any specifics for admission in place until 2014, meaning we were an open enrollment institution. So open enrollment means students can apply and, you know, they don't have any requirements to be admitted. Um, up until that point, we had a very low graduation rate just because, you know, when you apply and get admitted, some schools may not, some students may not be prepared to be able to attend college at that point. They may end up transferring or dropping out. Since 2014, when we put our admission requirements in place that we currently have now, which is our minimum 2.75 GPA for admission, uh, we have essentially almost tripled our graduation rate here at the university in roughly seven years time. And we continue to grow on that rate. So just wanted to throw that out there for you, Ella. And we are coming up on time here. We got about three minutes to go. Um, we have other questions. Uh, what time does the student life presentation start? So Kayla, great question. That is actually coming up right after this. Uh, that is actually going to be right at 6.15 when that will start. You can bounce back and forth. Um, you can go into student life first and then go view financial aid and then vice versa. You can really go uh, between all of these. And uh, how much does it pay to park on campus? So with us, we don't have parking per se, like where you don't have to register your vehicle at the university. The city of Harrisburg owns all the parking. So you really just need to be able to find a lot close to campus that works best for you. The one thing I can tell you, uh, the best lot to park in campus is the 10th Street lot. It's barely a four minute walk right here from our main academic center on campus. And it's only about 30 to 35 bucks a month to be able to park. So uh, it makes it a lot easier versus like my senior year of college when my college put in parking structures, I had to pay a minimum 500 a semester uh, to be able to park. And that just, whether I use that or not was up to me. Um, but outside of that, the city owns the parking. So you are allowed a vehicle as a freshman, don't have to register your vehicle. You just wanna make sure you find the best parking for you here on campus. And uh, Mike, this comes in from Daniel. Uh, how many games does eSports have and what games are they? Mm -hmm. That's a great question, Daniel. Uh, right now, uh, the two games that uh, Storm play competitively are League of Legends and Overwatch. Uh, you know, I mentioned during the presentation, a lot of students, 
you know, frequently asked, do we play things like Valorant, Rocket League, Call of Duty? Uh, at the moment, they don't. Those are just the two that they play. Um, but if you are interested in those, you know, I did mention our esports program, but also our esports club uh, is a great way to get involved uh, more with esports outside of just the gaming aspect of it. Uh, students in our esports program go on to work with the Storm Shoutcasting. Uh, Hue Fest is a really cool opportunity at HU. Uh, it's actually one of the largest collegiate esports competitions in the nation, hosted at Harrisburg. Uh, students in our program help set that event up. Uh, but at the moment, just those two games, League of Legends and Overwatch. And we got time for one more question here. Um, this is going to be from uh, Kayla, and I'll go ahead and take this one. Uh, another question. I know you said housing usually opens around April. I got an email about course registration. When exactly does that open? Kayla, course registration will not begin until about the middle of July. Um, so there's going to be some steps you need to get done prior to going to course registration. So just make sure you check in with your admissions counselor uh, in regards to uh, seeing what those steps are, what do you need to do, and when exactly you can expect course schedules to not only start uh, occurring, course scheduling, but after that, when can you expect to be able to receive it, whether it be through your portal or in the mail. So outside of that, we are at time, Mike. I um, uh, really appreciate everybody coming in today. Uh, a lot of great questions coming in. We really appreciate your interaction, uh, but also too, more importantly, we appreciate your time, uh, taking time out of your busy schedule with after school activities, jobs, work, whatever you guys are doing. So uh, it's greatly appreciated that you took that time to come and spend with us. We hope you move on to the next sessions, go learn a little more about financial aid, student life, hear from some of our student ambassadors and also our student life team here at Harrisburg University. So for myself, for Mike, and also the rest of the admission staff here at Harrisburg University, uh, thank you very much for attending. Have a great evening, stay safe, and we hope to hear from you soon. Good night, Bye everybody. everybody.